And at the same time, there's been some concern over whether enough people trust the vaccine. Now there's a bill in the state legislature that would make it mandatory if not enough people in New York voluntarily get it. The story now from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. It is Assembly Bill 11179, and as you can see here, it's entitled An Act to Amend the Public Health Law in Relation to Administering a COVID-19 Vaccine. It was introduced last Friday by a Manhattan Democrat, Linda Rosenthal, and is forward-looking to when a vaccine becomes available. In the language of the bill, it states that if public health officials determine that residents of the state are not developing sufficient immunity from COVID-19, the department shall mandate vaccination for all individuals or groups of individuals who as shown by clinical data are proven to be safe to receive such vaccine. It does not identify further who those groups may be, nor a threshold of sufficient immunity. And Assembly Member Rosenthal did not return our calls for comment. Beyond his objection to making the vaccine mandatory, the ambiguity of that is disturbing to State Assembly Member David DiPietro. This bill is dangerous, Dave. It's very dangerous, especially because the way they wrote, they have left it so open-ended. Asked if he would sign such legislation if it ever got through the state assembly, but a spokesman for Governor Cuomo pointed us back to Mr. Cuomo's comments of a week ago in which he stated that you cannot force someone to take a vaccine. Although in this state and several others, it has been mandated for years that you get your children vaccinated for certain things if you were to enroll them in school. So what's the difference there? We'll have more about that coming up at 5. Dave Pekidley, Channel 2 News.